Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel on in today's episode of AWS we will be learning on how to create the AWS free tier account and we'll be looking at how to set up the budget and what are the free services that we are available and what are the 12 month free subscription that we can have so without wasting any more time let's get started So what you need to do is basically log into any website for like a, a free tier account for AWS. So on the first link that you have AWS free tier, you can click on that and you will come up to the page for your Amazon. And uh, on that you can find three options here like always free, 12 months free and trial. So there are details mentioned here below where you can just uh, click on the filters and to see what are the services that are available for 12 months. Uh, free or what are the services that are available as totally free but uh, as we are going to set up the account what we will do is uh, we will go to create an aws account section and we'll click on that so once you click on this option you will so one more option that you can see here is is like uh, aws accounts include 12 months of free tier access so including the use of aws ec2 amazon s3 and amazon D dynamo db so what exactly aws wants to tell is in 12 months on the 12 months period that you have the subscription that you have you can use them use these services but uh, there is a condition to this that uh, once you exceed the amount of uh, uh, free subscription that you have you have to pay for that so you can go here and uh, first of all you can you have to enter your email address and uh, password and confirm password and the AWS account name that you're going to give so I'll just go ahead and fill in these details and I'll continue for the next step so I've entered the details and I've given the account name as AWS hyphen pytholic and I'll click on continue okay so it'll ask you to fill the account details and uh, the contact information so you have to fill this information so i'll fill it uh, as soon as possible suppose this they'll ask you about the confirmation of your identity by verifying it through a phone number or the mobile number that you have you can provide it in the cell phone numbers tab and then you can enter the security check then it'll send an sms to you so once you have submitted they will provide you with a verification code a four digit verification code that you might have received in your phone so you just need to enter that and continue that's it we have successfully verified the account and now we can go ahead and select the basic plan so there are three plans that you can see here one is the basic one is the developer plan and the one is a business plan so the basic plan includes all uh, included with all accounts so 24 into 7 service uh, self-service access to aws resources but in the business plans that you have you get 24 7 chat phone and email access to aws support itself that you won't get in the basic plan and we don't need it such in the basic plan so now it's just for our tutorial purpose or learning purpose so we'll be going forward with the basic plan itself so just click on free and you should be good to go with okay yeah so we are done with the account setup and uh, personalize your experience so what you can do is my role is basically a um, software developer or engineer and I am interested in the area of okay learning and certification so now we have set up our uh, free tier account and we can directly go into the console and check in what exactly our console looks like so this is pretty exciting because this is the first time we are going to create we have created our aws account and we are going to sign into the console so just let's click this so now you have to enter the email address of your aws account that you had provided previously or uh, the account id so this is basically how your uh, aws management console looks like this is pretty exciting because we have all the services listed here and there are so many services that we need to learn and the resource group as well and the aws profile that we had just created the account information my organization service quota billing dashboard and everything that you have here are the regions that are available to us and this is the support uh, drop down that we have for our technical support and you can click here as well for all the services that you need to know or you can type uh, basically any service name to get the details of it so this is pretty exciting and we will be learning each of the services in depth so please don't miss out on the upcoming chapters that we have and uh, so the next thing that we want to set up is our AWS billing so you need to go to your billing dashboard so here we are going to set the amount of money that we are going to spend on our AWS tutorial series or the learning that we have. We will not be send, spending much. We will be like uh, spending around 700 rupees uh, for this one. So make sure that you have uh, taken out 700 rupees from your kitty to learn AWS. So if you don't want to spend the money, you can just follow the video tutorial series. So in this tutorial series, I will be trying to spend around 700. I will try to minimize the cost as much as possible. So 
so this is the billing and cost management dash dashboard it's written here like your last month and month to date cost appears below so this will give you what the expenses that you have incurred in your aws account so but what we need to do is we need to create and manage our budget so we need to create a budget plan so click on budgets you will find here three options create and manage budget refine your budget using filters and add notification to your budget so what we need to do here is we need to basically create a budget uh, setup for us we haven't created it yet so we'll click on this create a budget and there are uh, like options cost budget use reservation budgets and saving plans budget so what we need to do is we need to click on cost budget because that's what we are going to set so monitor your costs against a specified dollar amount and receive alerts when your user defined thresholds are met so what exactly it means is uh, once you have put a particular amount in your budget suppose you exceed that amount there will be a threshold value that you have set then it will send you alerts so that alert we can set manually uh, click on set your budget so here you are going to add the name for the budget that you are having and we can choose whether it is a monthly or quarterly or annually one so i'll go with monthly and uh, whether uh, you can choose whether it's a recurring uh, budget or an expiring budget so basically recurring budgets will renew on the first day of every monthly billing period expiring budget will stop renewing on the last day of the expiration month start month is uh, december you can choose whether the budget amount is fixed or you can plan it monthly so you can basically adjust the amount of money that you're going to spend in each month let's suppose you want to spend some somewhat less in a particular month or you want to spend somewhat of more amount of money in some of the months then you can set them here but i'll go for a fixed budget and here it is mentioned thousand dollars that uh, literally and physically isn't possible for me so i will go with around uh, 0. 1 so 0 0.1 is basically 1 cent so it will be around 7 rupees so it doesn't matter for me so but basically is the threshold value that we are setting so anything above that i'll get a alert so now we'll configure the alert for us so this is the configure alerts page and uh, send alerts based on actual cost and the forecasted so actual cost basically is like uh, our 0 0.1 that we had given so above this we will get an alert so now we have to enter the email address that we had set up so that's it uh, move forward and uh, we will discuss about sns and chatbots in our upcoming chapters but for now we'll just click on confirm budget so this is your detailed analysis of what exactly we have been doing so this is the budget detail so name is aws tutorial budget period is monthly it starts from december 1 2019 and i have set up the budget for 0.1 dollars and it is aggregated by unblended cost then just click on create to complete the process so now we have set up our budget and this is the budget name that you have and you can basically create few more budgets here by clicking on create budget but this is the one that we have so i'll click on this i haven't spent anything on this but i'll get an alert to my inbox if i spend more than 0.1 so you can create a budget report as well based on the usage that you have incurred in aws so you have the cost and usage reports as well so that's it for today's lesson we have created our aws free tier account and the billing as well and the budget as well so plenty of information for today i hope that's it from my side today and i'm pretty much excited that you are as well excited on getting your first aws free tier account if you have any doubts post them in the comment section below like the video please subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more on this that's it from my side today signing off